How you doing guys? Back again with another video. So I'm gonna take a look at another product made by Yolanzi today. Now, I promise you, I'm not gonna to do too many more products on Yolanzi. I will do some other stuff, but if there's any other videos that you'd like to see me cover or any other products you'd like me to take a look at, drop them down in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Now, this is a phone case that's made by Yolanzi, but the exciting thing about this phone case is the fact that it's got a 17 mil thread built directly into the case itself. Now, Yolanzi makes this case for a variety of different smartphones out there. So the best bet for you to do is go onto their website to check to see if they support your current device. Now I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So this case supports that and it's got two threaded mounts in it, one for the wide angle lens and one for the telephoto lens. Now there's no thread for the super wide lens on there because it's just not physically possible to mount lenses onto that current lens. But the telephoto and your normal wide angle lens on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is gonna work perfectly fine. Now, I've been using this case on my iPhone 11 Pro Max for the last week, and I've gotta say, a lot of good things to talk about, and a couple of things that I think they could improve on the case. So if you're new to the channel, guys, consider subscribing. Everything I do is shot using a smartphone, no DSLRs allowed. So if that's something you're interested in, getting top quality footage, just using a smartphone, then consider subscribing. So the build quality of this case is really nice. It's a solid plastic, insert that you actually put your phone into it. It does get a little bit tricky taking it in and out a lot of times if you're planning on doing that, but I personally just kept my phone in there non-stop so that I can attach lenses on it and just start shooting straight away, which is really, really great. Now, the actual lens mount on it itself is made from aluminium or some other type of metal. I'm not 100% sure on exactly what that's made out of, but it is made out of metal. All the cutouts are in the right place, so you can still get functionality to your torch or the flash if you're taking photos. Access to your lenses are there, and they've got the 17mm thread on them. Now, the button functionality on this can be a little bit mushy. I would prefer it to be a little bit more tactile and clicky, but I think I'm just being a little bit nitpicky on this one. So one thing I have come across when using this case is that lenses can actually be quite tricky to put on. I found that trying to actually get the lens aligned properly on there and the thread in place and screw the lens on can be quite tricky and sometimes takes me two or three goes. This may be something that over time when I've used this case a lot that I'll get used to and be able to thread it on. But for now I found it a little bit tricky. I think personally on the cutout in the back there, the threads should go around a little bit more. I don't know whether that would impede on the wide angle lens there and they'd get caught in the frame. So that's why they've done that on the iPhone 11 Pro Max case anyway. But this specific model case, I found it a little bit tricky getting those lenses on and actually threaded properly. A lot of the times it goes on at a slight angle. So I've had to take it off, then readjust it and try and fiddle about with it to find the correct positioning to then fully screw it on. So it can be a little bit tricky but I think that's something I could get used to and after using it for a little bit longer, I might be able to actually screw these on one try. Not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something that I think I should mention to you if you're planning on getting one of these cases. So when it comes to cases like this, what are gonna be the main advantages? Why would you specifically purchase a case like this with a 17 mil thread built in it? Well, the reason behind that is the fact that once this case is on your phone, because it's made specific to your model of phone, when you attach those lenses with the 17 mil thread on them, they're gonna mount and align perfectly to the lens on your phone. So there's no chances of you putting the lens on slightly off center and getting blurry edges. It saves time, you get the perfect alignment, and there's no chance of you getting slight softness in the edges when misaligning the lens. So the good thing about these cases is the fact that there's no messing about or fiddling about trying to get that clip aligned perfectly you can literally just take a lens and screw it directly onto whatever lens on your phone that you desire and you're going to be able you're going to be good to go you're going to be aligned properly and you're going to be able to get crisp looking footage so that's one of the main benefits to, the, to using something like this now personally i think the design's quite nice and i actually like using a case like this it's it's just great to have on you you can chuck a lens or two in your bag and just carry them around with you and then just screw them directly onto your phone to be able to start making content. So it's a great case, a little bit tricky to put the lens on first time and also the buttons on there, I'd like them to be a little bit more tactile because it just feels a little bit mushy when pressing them. But apart from that, this is a great little case. The price of it was £12. So, I mean, the 12, it's, tw it's 12 pounds. Yolanzi just make ridiculously cheap products and they're actually really good quality as well. So this was just a quick video, a quick look at Yolanzi's new 17mm threaded case. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're thinking about purchasing one. 
this is just a little product that I come across and I thought I'd share with you guys because it's a great concept, a great idea. I know there's other companies out there with cases like this as well, but they're definitely not gonna be as cheap as this case and using Yolanzi's lenses. So ultimately, this is gonna be the ultimate budget lens and case combo. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, guys, it has been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.